Yeah, I have been on the road for a week before this, so all my laundry is dirty. I think we're just a, a collection of misfits. Alex forgot deodorant, <laughs> and Mimi's got stick feet. Failure is more common than success. People bet against us. I think they're gonna be surprised. Hold on for dear life. <laughs> Yeah, so we're here at Madeira Island as part of Portugal out in the Atlantic Ocean for our elite craft team global summit or camp, I guess we call it. I love Madeira. I think it's one of the most magical places in the world. It's just an opportunity to be able to get to know each other, feel some sun and run fun trails and eat good food and get to hang out with good people. I've been so hard on you, trying to love with knuckles white the nature and fantastic athletes from different backgrounds. That's really inspiring as well. Most professional teams, they do have some type of a summit around a big event like UTMB or Western States. So this is my first time to uh, outside of North America. When I left, it just got dark and then it seemed like 15 minutes later it got light again. Oh man, Arlen is just like, it's like everything is awe and wonder. Are these sheep? I, I don't know. I mean, they, I don't think they're goats. They're all calling them goats, but I think they're sheep. Now you hear that one? <laughs> Americans have sheep, but they don't have tails. So I'm very confused. It just seems like a kid in a candy store everywhere he goes. I heard you breathing very much when you did the last one. <laughs> Arlen got tired? He, he doesn't tire. He's the Energizer Bunny. <laughs> it was just a nice, easy run. <laughs> when he was up on the mountain laughing at me like, ah! <laughs> Most of the world doesn't even know who he is other than he keeps winning races or, you know, but he's not on social media. Probably this is why he feels so crappy all the time. <laughs> These are sheep, right? <laughs> I got to learn the Portuguese. <laughs> I'm telling them that nicer weather is coming. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> the whole world wants to know who is Arlen, and I, I really hope over the next couple of years we, we get a chance to see that. When people see you for who you really are and you have an authenticity about you, people appreciate that. <laughs> In a world of social media, we think we are connected with people, but we're so not connected with them. And until you actually meet somebody in person and know them as a friend, your perception could be so far off. You talk to Arlen, he came from a completely different background than me. But at the end of the day, we love the same thing. We love to run. Arlen, Tommy Rips, Manu from Brazil. They all they have different backgrounds, but in the end, we are like a family. Different is better for us. Mimi, cut off! Second position, third position! Fantastic! Mimi, she's just like a Swedish assassin. Are you want to run 10 or 5? Come on, I'm going to run 10. Okay, I think because I have, I will have the car there. So... Yeah, but that's what Luis says that he won't. <laughs> well, he says you will not be. You can there. go here. Yeah, I will send Sorry. this location. I'm getting so hungry. Me too, dude. <laughs> if they want to no. to run five, I have the yeah, car. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Sorry. 
Yeah. You got there for take the picture. If the yeah. same one can back by car, can back. It's over there, is it the trees? It's very cool. I think Abel the other day, he's like, I'm afraid of her. Mimi's like, <laughs> he only running one mile in front of you. Why? Yeah. Why? Because they want to no, that's, that, that's not, not smart. He could yeah. go back quick. The hotel yeah. Yeah. Now it's good time. Yeah. Yeah. We can, we can leave yeah. this place in two minutes. Yeah. 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 It's better. Better for you? Because then it's a buffet. If everyone orders at the restaurant, it will be... No, please. Uh, no, no. The thing is, you kind of have to stand your ground. Yeah, we are. When you disagree sometimes, in the end, it will be better for everyone. It's not like perfect, the communication, but I think it's part of the family. You have to deal with everything. You know, our women's team is dominating. I mean, Aroa didn't even start running until a few years ago, and people don't know who she is until she beats them. Manu is top 10 UTMB, and they're just crushing it. This is my first time meeting Mimi in person, and I am obsessed already. Mimi's pissed. Mimi knows everything about nutrition, supplements. She never complained about painful or something like running or racing. And she's a legend, of course. We are very proud, you know, to have Mimi on board. And Mimi loves craft since like she was a kid. She told me to eat like a pig and I would be one of the greatest athletes and I was like, I'm in. Each year she continues to compete and do well. Seeing a woman like her do that, it's inspiring to me because I'm someone that wants to compete for several more years. Our team just got bigger. It's good UTMB training. Learned to tuck and weave. You're gorgeous. Tim is a legend. Tim is fast, Tim is talented, but Tim's also a really hard worker. Better than any American ever has at some of the most prestigious races in the world. At the top of the podium in lots of different, very difficult races, that's massive. This season is geared towards UTMB. Gonna return there for the eighth time. Then in the preparation for that, my first stop on the tour is gonna be Transvolcania. Transvolcania will be between team and team. Pure kind of reminds me of La Palma. Yeah. I'm Tim Frerich, training for Transvolcania. That'll be my first time going back uh, since I raced in 2017. These big races are having big names all over the world, but Tim Tollefson is a really strong and fast guy, and Tim Frerich knows very well this race. I think April 30th is, I, is when I take off and I get in, I think like May 1st, and then I was gonna stay through the 10th. They are in the same team and they will help each other for sure. 2017, I got in on like Thursday. Really? Like, Dang. Yeah, I like, like didn't have time to be like tired. I mean, so you, that was I just one, like landed, went to bed, woke and you up, shook seen, out. I hadn't seen anything. Honestly, sometimes that like naivety, I think, is oh, being the in, way yeah, yeah. to do it. Like, totally, totally. You just go out and completely slay and Yeah, I was like no completely ignorant to what was out there. I remember being a little scared, but it was like, I know there's gonna be a ton of climbing, but it just, yeah. Uh -huh. it was, and then you just it was, crushed it. Yeah, it was a good That's way to we do it. In, like our first UTMB, like yeah, none of us yeah. had seen anything. Yeah, yeah, like, and you're in great. It's, yeah. uh, <laughs> I agree, I think that ignorance can be a, a blessing. For sure, for sure. <laughs> a lot of the really challenging stuff at Transvolcania is like up high down uh, around Roque de los Muchachos uh, is the high point of the course. Descending off the backside of that is pretty, pretty technical and steep. And then like you, you start off the race going from like the lighthouse on the south end of the island at sea level and you just go right into like a 6,000 foot climb. As long as you can not get too excited, that climb kind of flies by. 